Someone left their bi bi Bible here. It's just a book. No, it's not. These are God's words. God wrote the book? Yes, using men and through holy inspiration. Who is it for? For everyone. It's still just a book. The words in this book tells us about God's gift to us. We get a gift only if we accept it. I like gift. Me too. So how do we get it? Remember when Jesus came to the world as a baby. You mean the Christmas story? Isn't that story only good at Christmas time? I think it's really good for any time. Jesus is God's only son. I thought Jesus is God. Yeah, God came down to earth in a man's body as the son of God. Anyway, people brought gifts to him. The Magi came with gold, frankincense and milk. I have a gold chain I could give. Oh, do you remember the woman Mary who gave Jesus some very expensive perfume? I could get some perfume too, I guess. Too much for me. I can't afford anything like that. There was that part in the Bible where rich people gave lots of money to a church and then poor widow only gave a few copper coins. Jesus said that this woman had put in more than all of them because she had put in everything that she had. Everything that took lots of gods. Talking about gods, Abraham was going to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. You mean kill him? Yeah, well, Abraham was totally willing to do that for God. But God provided a sheep for the sacrifice. Back in the Old Testament times, people would give sacrifices. Why? Why would they do that? To cover their sins. Romans 6 verse 23 says that the wages of sin is death. What? What? Sounds gruesome. Or the people in the Old Testament times would give sacrifices to show their thankfulness. Like with Abel, his gift of sacrifice was better than Cain because Abel gave it in faith and with the right attitude. Abel's sacrifice was the best than the crops that Cain had offered. So, instead of sacrificing one of my pets, I could just give God fruits and vegetables. No, we are missing a point here. Let me finish reading Romans 6 verse 23. Romans 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, so what does that really mean? We are all sinners, and where there is sin, there is death. But Jesus died for us. So if we accept Jesus as a Lord, we will have the gift of God, which is the eternal life. But what do we need to give in order to get that? I don't have very much to give. I could give quite a bit. My parents are super rich. Nobody has enough. What do you mean? All the riches in the world are not enough. Then we are all doomed. Let me read you something else. From Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. It is a gift of God, it is totally free, and all you have to do is have faith. How 
what about our sins and that that you are talking about? First Peter 3.18 says that, For Christ died for all our sins. That is the gift. For Christ died for all our sins, once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, made alive in the spirit. That is the best gift that anyone could ever give. You just have to decide if you want to accept it. I suppose the question is, why wouldn't you 